Together, we fight from these hills and cliffs for our freedom. Cliffs of Freedom is inspired by historical events that took place in the early 19th century. It's a fascinating piece of history that has seldom been addressed in feature films. Well, I had a chance to be a part of something that has my family's history in it. My belief is that Greeks are starved of, uh, of filming of their own history. I'm Greek, Spartan, actually, 100%. It was a story and a period of our history that I thought was long overdue. As a Greek, this film represents a turning point in a battle against the Ottoman rule and slavery of the Greeks. Being given the chance to play a character in a film like this was, you know, you couldn't pass that up. By the early 1800s, Greece had been subjugated by the Ottoman Empire for nearly 400 years, and the time was ripe for revolution and independence. When the time comes, and it will. This was the only time they were going to have a shot at it. Their numbers had been reduced to a point where they were never going to be able to muster enough resources again to do battle. This is the backdrop against which our film takes place. The plan is to stay alive until we are ready to strike. One of the fun things about Cliffs of Freedom was that we were able to blend fictional characters with actual historical people and events. We have a leader for our revolution. We have General Kolokotronis, who is a national hero in Greece to this day for his role in the Greek War of Independence. General Kolokotronis will send word for us any day now. He led the Greek Revolution with the troops. He was a general. He stood for unification of Greece. He was a man of the people. He believed in ultimate freedom for the human being. He was a very charismatic and powerful character. We have Sultan Mahmoud II, who was only 19 years old when he came into power and had to prove himself a strong leader amidst all of these uprisings and revolutions across the empire. I will not let my first year of rule be tarnished by such rebellion. We have Turks like the Mustafa Bey, who was the governor of Tripolitsa. We attack at dawn and we will show no mercy. In the face of these uprisings, the Ottomans did what they always did, which is to try to rule by force. Our opening scenes were inspired by the 1803 martyrdom of the women of Suli, these women that instead of submitting themselves, their daughters and their sons to conscription and harems by the occupiers, they chose freedom and jumping off the cliff. The expression is uh, Suliodi says, that the women of, of Suli that are still very well known and referred to even today in Greece, whenever you're given a hard choice, yes or no, they're referred to. And there's a beautiful song, I still know it, that was sung about these women that talks about goodbye, my beloved nature. And I learned it as a kid in, in elementary school. There's a huge monument commemorating their sacrifice on Mount Zalongo in Greece. For our film, we imagined a different group of women and children in similar circumstances a few years later, who were inspired by the women of Suli to make their own act of defiance. Although she's only in the first scene, Christina Canellos is the one that sets our main characters on their trajectories for the rest of the film. She will never conquer us. No. She is the aunt of our heroine, Anna Christina. Her act is critical to the story, not only because it sets the tone of the whole movie, but she is our first portrayal of the Greek spirit of freedom or death. We shall never surrender! No. The climax of our film takes place at the Battle of Valtetsi in 1821, which was a pivotal battle in the Greek War of Independence. It was a David and Goliath moment, where the Greeks managed to repel 7,000 Turks with just a few hundred of them. And I think it was a key moment in Greeks discovering that they could come together and fight this empire. We will use the terrain to even the fight. As shown in the movie, there are steep hills surrounding the village where the Greek rebels made their strongholds, and the battle that is featured in the film's climax was based on the real skirmish that happened at the back of the village, away from the main battle in the front. It gave us the ability to focus on our characters, who are mostly fictional, and also because, well, we're an independent film and we couldn't go all out on our battle scenes. Even though we weren't making a documentary, we tried to make the film as authentic as possible with the way the Janissaries looked and the opulence of the Ottoman palaces and even the village life in occupied Greece. Valtetsi today is a small village with about 40 inhabitants. It's a historical tourist destination filled with memories and honors of the battle that was fought there. 
there is a statue of General Kolokotronis in the middle of the village square. I think any Greek out there knows about the Ottoman rule. Uh, 400 years, the population decimated. This is part of our legacy, it's part of the history of the country. It's, you know, it's so well known. I think in Valtetsi itself, uh, it's celebrated every year. And I'm going back for another history lesson because this particular film will bring back a lot of storytelling in the house. This movie will revive the things that I heard as a kid. They will make you look at the wall at your grandfather and your great-grandfather and read some history books. And I think that's part of this movie's fantastic appearance in the world. So I'm proud to be in the movie. I'm proud to be Greek. It was really a challenge, a duty, and an honor to try to bring this period of history alive for mainstream audiences. We're all very proud of this film, and I'm sure uh, at the end of my life, uh, as I look back, I will look upon this at a, as a very, very special part of my life and Marion's contribution. And in addition to that, I hope that it gets the world to have a better understanding of Greeks and Greek history.